So the main reason why we organized a seven venue art walk was um, to get a fundraiser happening for a studio dongo, which is the design build architecture course for um, thesis students here at Foundation, and they need to build a, and construct a building. So all the money, well, 40% of the money would go to the construction costs. And um, so we started organizing in September, and with, you know, that, that goal in mind was a fundraiser. Also, um, one of the reasons why we were, like, we were so encouraged to push this project into uh, into reality is that right now Anna and myself is uh, organizing or we're doing a movement called the Ha Experiment, meaning to create. We're striving people to create, to elevate, and uh, we are actually uh, encouraging the community, especially the local artists, to create, to elevate. And but, but through this uh, art walk, uh, they can expose themselves. So definitely what motivated us to um, do the art walk was that we liked the idea of um, kind of putting two things together. Getting the art to the community to help raise the local arts here in Dumaguete. And so we already exposed 34 artists in the show, which is the biggest probably ever yeah, yeah. that's happened. And, um, and then also the, the Suudamgo, which is you know, education, sustainability for the community as well. So uh, initially, <laughs> our theme is approachable and affordable. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we we were we told the artist, and we made actually a, an artist call in Facebook, which is everyone is in Facebook right now. So I think that's the most efficient way to disseminate the information. And yeah, we told them that uh, make make artworks that are approachable or friendly, positive uh, kind of works, and then affordable. I think we got a lot of responses right away, and then it was um, the follow-up, like making sure that they're creating the work and um, the serious people who wanted to contribute. So I would say we got probably like 40 yeah, inquiries, yeah. and then it, 30, it yeah. came down to um, 34 artists ultimately. Yeah. yeah. So uh, most of the artists actually are coming from Dumaguete City, but there were also very interested artists from actually from Bohol, Cebu, uh, from Baiz, and from Bacolod, who, I mean, who responds the, the, the call. So we encourage each artist to give, during the call, we, I think we told them two to two three, to Duha or Tulu, <laughs> my artworks. So, and uh, yeah, I think most of them submitted maybe two artworks. And others also submitted even one because they cannot finish it because of the, I think, the deadlines and mm -hmm. all. Uh, I'd say average too, yeah. though. Average, and, yeah. And some average people too. even more. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the good thing about it is like they're very willing to donate their works, and they they, they specifically made artworks just for the show. Yeah. I mean, they most of the works actually that you can see during the artwork or until now you can visit the artwork venues. These are new works, most of them. After the house project, I opened up that uh, idea to my co-founder of the High Experiment, which is Anna. <laughs> and then, uh, it's like one day, we also created a poem about <laughs> the H. And so, the house project actually, initially, it's from a later, le letter H on a blank white canvas, I, I sketch a letter H, which is, from that letter H, it is uh, like the foundation or the skeletal drawing to build something or to draw something there. And I ask artists, what, how do you define house? Or what is a house for you? And so there's even a house there that for them, they define house as like a happy place, or there's even a house there that looks like a tunnel and then there's a flickering light at the end of the tunnel. Or what, what yeah. are the other houses that you've noticed there? Like the works of Aziza Daxla. Mm, I think yeah. that's one of the 
most striking, most striking yeah. house project there. Like we really want that one to detailed, sell. <laughs> yeah, very detailed version. And there are also houses that were rendered like almost like street art or graffiti, like the work of Roller Pisan. And there were houses, well, I mean, versions of the house that looks like uh, like almost abstraction of colors. Like the first artwork house project that was sold was the house project of Anna Kuzman, <laughs> and which is the rendering is very stylized um, using of palette. What, what do you use for that? The, the palette knife. So um, right now I'm working, uh, all the artwork that I'm producing right now is just working with a palette knife and just putting color yeah. um, kind of loosely on the canvas and and abstractions yeah, we're yeah. working with and so my house response was that using the palette knife but actually taking a photo from, a studio from the Studio Domingo project and it's a window with a um, open window with a, a father and his daughter in the window and it's very to me it's a very hopeful and very Filipino scene because you've got the bright curtain in the window that sort of lacy curtain that comes down and then some plants that are growing and um, and so I call it the Pagka Pinoy series. <laughs> yeah, Pinoy. <laughs> so that's what I that's what I'm currently doing right now. And and it it definitely was attractive to a buyer from Manila. So yeah. I was really happy about that that it sold and it was collected by Mr. and Mrs. Inushan. So they're like um, He's an actor. Actor, yeah, an actor yeah. from Manila. Yeah. yeah. So now that's in Manila. <laughs> Create to elevate. Yeah. That's our main mission, yeah. Art can make people happy. Yes. That's what we're actually trying to promote. Like, create to elevate. Keep creating. Like, art, art can really make the whole world happy. Like, can you just imagine a piece of something? From a piece of blank canvas and then you splash colors and put colors there. And if people will see that, they will really, it will somehow brighten up a person's day or life. So, sa tanang mga artists nga ganahang mupadayon or katong uh, ganahang mahimong artist ang akong ikasuri padayon na mo sa inyong gibuhat nga kaayuhan <laughs> especially kung ganahang mo paint hala paint kay uh, para nako na nag start pang pumian na gigan mo tag gamay karon gamay ra gyapon pero in the future mo da ko biya pud akong sige tag buhat og mga butang uh, sa kaayuhan so padayon ra gyud create to elevate